All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the Capricorns out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for, your general reading for the month of March. I'm still thinking about February. <laughs> but if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you need a private reading, the link will be posted in the description box below this video. All right, Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Could have Cancer or Pisces in your chart. But I feel like right now, some of you with this Nine of Wands in the reverse are tired of... You're either tired of working on something or tired of working on something or tired of work. One or the other. Apply the energy as it fits to your store to your store. You may be communicating this or having a conversation, being honest about how you feel. Um you may be like communicating that you are tired of working or tired of working on a situation. All right. I feel like in the past there was a tower moment. Someone could have been put out of a home or the foundation of a union came crumbling down um, with this tower card, Scorpio Aries energy. Some some of you felt like in the past someone was throwing darts at you. You could have felt like your foundation, the foundation around you was coming apart. Okay. And it's definitely had something to do with someone you love. Okay, I feel like in the past, you felt like the foundation around someone that you love was crumbling. Um, someone could have been put out of a home. I'm definitely getting some type of transformation in love. Okay, some type of transformation regarding a, a, a situation in love. Right now, you're trying to see clearly, trying to gain some type of revelation some type of enlightenment, some type of wisdom about which direction you want to go in with the high priestess card. You're listening to your intuition at this time, okay? Because you're uncertain. I see an uncertainty here. Like, you're uncertain about how something is going to turn out. But let's see what it is. What are you uncertain about? You're, you feel like someone is playing games with you. Like dancing to the beat of their own drum. Yeah, being deceptive. Okay. Some of you are in a long-term commitment with this person. Or um, this is a marriage. But I feel like you, you're you feeling like someone is playing games, being deceptive, being sneaky. And this is regarding the situation in love. I do feel like I'm looking at these dragonflies. So some of you could be just going through a transformation in your relationship. There's some type of transformation taking place. Okay. Why is the queen of wands here? Yeah. So you could be taking action to work on something at this time. You may be working on this relationship at this time from what I'm seeing. I do feel like this person is a wish fulfillment for you. Yeah. There is a lot of love here. I see you um taking action to work on this situation. You're focused on finances at this time. Financial stability. um, More finances. Balancing out your finances. You're strategically coming up with a plan and I feel like it's it's solely for your loved one with this uh Knight of Wands here. Like you're you're wanting to go towards this person with an offer. Some of you could have a black, red, or gold car. Possibly white. Let me know in the comment section. But I feel like you're going towards expansion and growth. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. 
Um, I do feel like in the near future, you may be feeling like, um, you may feel like things are moving too fast. Um, feel like you're coming to the cliff, but not tipping over. Like it's like you're in a risky situation. And I feel like you're guarded. I'm seeing it. I see a lot of um, night energy and I'm looking at the, the armor. So some of you are like guarded. You're protecting yourself. You may feel like things are moving too fast. Um, and you feel like you're, you're, you're going to fall, but you're not. Like you feel like things are not going to work out, but you haven't fallen yet. But things, you're, you're feeling like things are moving too fast. And I'm getting like, you may be feeling like you're either, you're making rash decisions or someone around you is making rash decisions. Like things are just moving too fast. Let me know in the comment section if it, which um, side of the fence you're on. Yeah. So you have fear of some type of travel or movement with this eight of wands. There's, this is fear based. I feel like um, it's also unexpected, but you're you're being strong, you're being courageous, you're moving forward, and I feel like you're hoping that this situation doesn't cause with this uh, Ace of Cups in a reverse. You're hoping that this situation doesn't like put an end to uh, your your love relationship with this Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups in the reverse. You're hoping that this, this relationship doesn't come to an end. But with this King of Wands right here, I feel like you're taking action and doing everything that you can do to make it work. All right, let's see what else is here. Yeah, because some of you may be like feeling like you want to walk away due to some type of financial hardship. You feel like you're being ignored. Like, how you feel or what you want is being ignored. And I feel like you're ready to be honest and have a conversation about it. And for some of you, some of you are wanting to walk away, but you're not. Let me see. I'm surprised the Five of Wands didn't come out. Yeah, I feel like with the Judgment card, you're going to give this a second chance. You're definitely going to give this a second chance. But you're, you're going to give it a second chance. But with this moon card, you're still uncertain about the future of this relationship. There's uncertainty here. And with this moon card, it you could be um, feeling like someone is keeping secrets from you. Someone is keeping you in the dark about something. But with I'm looking at this crab and this chain. So some of you could be bound in this relationship. Like you can't, you may not can't just walk away <clears throat> could be dealing with the cancer pisces or scorpio or someone has cancer pisces scorpio um leo's energy is here aries energy is here yeah see you you want to um control the situation with with the emperor card or you feel like you're being controlled and it's causing you to feel anxious and paranoid, feeling alone, feeling like um, how you, you like your feelings are being ignored. Let's see what the energy of your person. I feel like with this four of pentacles here, your person could be holding holding on or holding. I'm seeing someone holding on to finances. Holding on to finances. <laughs> holding back. Someone here, I feel like someone here and this is either you or your person. Someone here wants to walk away, but they're not. It's like, 
there's a lot of love invested here. Yeah, someone here is overthinking, feeling like they're like bound to something, but I feel like it's all in their mind. It's like someone wants to start over, but trying to be patient in order to maintain balance. And with the double card, looking at this, um, this is your energy. So you could be looking at this person as being manipulative, um, trying to pull the wool, wool over your eyes or a veil over your eyes. And it's causing you to feel like you're um, angry, but you may not be saying anything. Like you're keeping your mouth closed. I feel like you may be making a decision. Or you feel like if you're not making a decision, I feel like you're making a decision to overcome this, like to um to work things out with the lover's card coming out, Gemini's energy. Because some of you You could have been contemplating on walking away. I'm definitely seeing walking away, overthinking a situation, feeling like you're alone, feeling like you're being a, a, um, ignored, but making a choice to overcome these obstacles. I'm looking at these mountains back here. And I'm looking at these cups as you, as you overcoming the trials and tribulations because you love your person. That's what I, that's what I'm getting. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. So let me pull some Oracle cards and see what else is here. What else is here? Now, this could be your energy or your partner's. Just apply the energy as if it's to your story. Yeah, because we have not enough. So some of you are frustrated are, or you were frustrated in a relationship. Um, some of you could have been self-sabotaging a relationship out of fear or having ego issues. There's jealousy here, but someone, some of you were hiding your emotions. You were blocking your own emotions out. A closed mouth don't get fed. Um, but I feel like you decided to take a risk because some of you are married to this person, engaged to this person, or there's some type of long-term commitment here with this engagement card there's a some type of partnership so you two may also complement each other but i feel like that this was just uh something that or it was or it is something that you're going through but you decided to work things out yeah i feel like you um there could have been like a point in time where there was some type of silent treatment or you could be going through this now. Yeah, but see, this is what keeps coming out. Like there, you were thinking about walking away or breaking up or giving a silent treatment or abandoning this, but there's unconditional love here. There's unconditional love here. So I feel like that's why you did not just walk away because... You, you love this person. Yeah, but you may feel like this person may be a narcissist. Like this is a one-sided relationship. Um, someone is self-absorbed and needs to look in the mirror and reflect on their actions. And with the abundance card at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you just tried, you kept a positive or you're keeping a positive mindset. Yeah, because you like the person that you're with. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not pulling any more cards. That's it. Capricorns, this is your reading for your general reading for March. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video out a lot. Um, share 
subscribe to the channel channel <laughs> hit the notification bell be safe i'm sending love like peace and healing energy to you and your family thanks so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you next time peace